Hello, it's Mrs. Nelson. I have a special request book all the way from the Roosevelt Kindergarten. They wanted to learn about viruses. So this is how to be a virus warrior, a kid's guide to keeping safe. This is written by Eloise McGregor. She wrote this book to teach us what we can do to keep our bodies safe and healthy What is a virus? A virus is a type of germ. They are very, very tiny, so you can't see them. When they get inside your body, they can make you sick. Viruses look like this, but a gazillion times smaller. There are lots of different types of viruses. There is a cold virus, a chicken pox virus, a flu virus, and coronavirus. People are talking a lot about coronavirus right now. Scientists have noticed a new coronavirus germ called COVID-19. It causes an illness a lot like the flu. How do you catch a virus? Viruses enter your body through your nose, mouth, or eyes. Viruses can be passed from person to person. When a person coughs or sneezes, they spray the virus into the air. Another person might be then breathe the virus germs in through their nose or mouth. You might catch a virus by holding someone's hand or giving them a kiss or hugging them. Germs can be left on things an ill person has touched. If you touch the same thing and then touch your face, you might catch the virus. Try to keep a distance of about three to six feet from people with coughs or sneezes. Wash your hands often and don't touch your face. How does a virus make you feel? Different viruses can make you feel sick in different ways. You might get a fever or may feel warm or have chills, a headache, a runny nose, a cough, a sore throat, a rash, aches and pains. You may feel weak diarrhea or tummy pain, or feel sick or short of breath. The symptoms of coronavirus are a cough, a fever, shortness of breath. Having these symptoms doesn't mean you have coronavirus. You might have a cold or the flu. If you have been near someone with coronavirus or been somewhere people have coronavirus, then you might have the illness. How do, how do you keep yourself and other people safe from a virus? If you feel unwell, you need to be careful not to spread your germs. Sneeze or cough or blow your nose into a tissue, then throw the tissue away. If you can't find a tissue, sneeze or cough into the inside of your elbow. You could wear a mask if you feel unwell and keep you from spreading your germs. What are the best ways to make sure you don't catch a virus? Wash your hands with soap a lot. Do not touch your face. Your hands may have picked up germs that can get in your nose, eyes, or mouth. Try to stay away from anyone who appears unwell or anyone who has been with people who are unwell. They may look fine, but may be carrying a virus. How do I wash my hands properly? Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. That's about the same time as singing happy birthday all the way through twice. Follow the routine below. Wet hands with water. Use soap. Rub your palms together. Cross your fingers and palms. Then cross fingers, backs of hands together. Clean the backs of your hands. Clean your thumbs. Clean your fingernails and the ends of your fingers. Clean your wrists. Rinse with water. Dry your hands well with a clean paper towel and throw it away. Keeping away from others. To stop a virus from spreading, sometimes you may be asked to keep yourself away from other people. Your school may shut and events you want to go to might be canceled. 
You might even have to stay in your home, which doctors called self-isolation. It's important to make sure you do as you are asked. Some people might get very ill if they catch a virus. Old people and people who are already ill need to be protected. It can actually be fun to be in isolation. You could watch some movies, play board games, read a book, do some coloring. How can you germ bust your home? Easy. Keep your hands clean and clean the places people touch often in your home. Soap and cleaning spray can kill virus germs. Use a paper towel to wipe surfaces clean. Viruses can survive a long time on surfaces. Wipe commonly used surfaces, door handles, and light switches. Then throw away the paper towel and wash your hands. Think your family might not wash their hands as well as you? Their not very clean hands may have touched that faucet. You can turn some faucets on and off using your elbows, like doctors do, or turn them using a paper towel. Hugging? Kissing? Maybe not. Think you may be unwell or is a friend or member of your family ill, you may want to change how close you get to them for now. Germs can pass on easily through a handshake or a kiss. It is a good idea not to kiss and hug if someone has a virus. You can still show people you care. You can give them a smile or bump elbows or make them a get well card. Can doctors cure a virus? You can be protected against some viruses by being given a vaccine. A vaccine is a medicine that helps you fight a virus. There are vaccines for chicken pox and flu. You may have had some vaccines when you were a baby. New viruses, like the coronavirus, do not have a vaccine yet. Doctors are working hard to make one. What can you do if you or your family get ill with a virus? Don't worry. Most people are only ill for a few days. Stay at home and call the doctor. Go to bed. Open the window a little if you can. Drink plenty. Make sure you don't spread the virus to anyone else. And pretty soon, you will be better. Are you... A virus warrior? Try the sample quiz and see if you have the power to battle a virus. The answers are at the bottom of page 24. 1. How long should you wash your hands for? A. 5 seconds. B. 10 seconds. C. 20 seconds. Want to sneeze? If you have no tissue, what do you do? A. Sneeze into the inside of your elbow. B. Sneeze on some food. C. Sneeze on a door handle. 3. Why should you stay away from people if you have a virus? A. Old people and ill people might catch it and be very ill. B. You don't like people. 4. What can you do to help protect yourselves? A. Wash your hands. B. Don't touch your face. C. Keep away from people with the virus. D. All of the answers. Don't get too scared of viruses. Just remember, wash your hands a lot and don't touch your face. Then you probably won't catch one or spread one.